The C1 men's 500 metres under 23 final. Paddlers, um, and like I say, they're Iranian in lane two. So we're underway in the middle of the course. Keep your eye on Bo and Jai from China. Uh, he's a very strong paddler. Minerik alongside him, and as Jen said, uh, Gabriel Cassidy from Italy has also been in good form this week. But again, once again, it's the athlete from Poland showing the way this morning. Is this going to be Poland's day today? Oh, it's a very early time to call that, but he has gone out nice and strong. This is a 500-meter race, so you want to make your mark on the race nice and early. And so far, it's Yuri Minerik. Uh, sorry, it's uh, Norman Zezula from Poland who's taken the early lead. I think he's got the man bun going there, has he, Jen? I need to get another close-up, but I thought I detected a man bun. Across there in lane four, it looks like the Italian Cassetti, though, who's coming through now and are putting in some hard yards. And in the middle of the course, it's the athlete from China, Bowen Jai, who's also now making his mark at the halfway stage of this 500-metre race. This is an under-23 C1 men's event. It's Cassetti from Italy, Jai from China, Zazula from Poland. But Jai from China now, he starts to put the foot down starts to show what he's made of and this is a really impressive back half of the race for the athlete from china they are really strong in the men's and women's canoe program we saw that in the olympics last year in tokyo and they are going to get stronger you can guarantee that look out paris because china is coming through bow and jai in the c1 men's 500 meter under 23 final this is his race to lose now he's so far in front he will hold on i'm sure racing home again it's the pole he's got a bit of a second breath to to fly home for the silver medal but no doubt about the winner is bowen jai from china silver going to poland and i think it was the athlete from italy cassetti who took the bronze but that is a really strong win congratulations to china nice mix of the medals in the first three races today spain poland and china sharing the spoils good strong race there jen yeah for sure he I think I saw this athlete warming up on the land um, this morning. And yeah, you could see he was really focused on the race ahead. And obviously he was very motivated from the bronze medal in the C2 500 meters yesterday. And to top it off by becoming world champion today uh, in the C1 men's 500 meters is something <laughs> very special. And he has another three years wow, of the I'm, I'm just looking at that see. he was born in 2002 so he's only 20. yeah so a big future as is minerick by the way the the czech and uh Cassetti from italy so these three uh, are going to be having a few more battles in the years to come which is going to be exciting isn't it when you see these athletes and you know that uh, they'll go head to head both at a senior level and at an under 23 level good finish there well in front of Good, stroke, good consistent race there from Norman Zizula from Poland to take the silver. And uh, Cassady, he'd be happy with a, a follow-up there, bronze medal for him in the 500 metres. But uh, you can add there, there's another event that Hungary don't pick up a medal. It hasn't happened very often. But no Hungarians on the podium. No, Ross, you could be on to a winner here. <laughs> I'll tell you, maybe 23 was a bit too optimistic. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to have to re reassess all of that. Uh, three down, look at that, there we go. Uh, 